Okay, guys, um, I just wanted to show a few things from the new QGIS 3.24. Uh, one of my new favorite things are the wave functions that Niall Dawson has created here, and they're just really cool, uh, especially if you do a lot of land planning or landscape architecture type stuff like I do. And so I just wanted to start out with uh, really simple stuff here, but really cool and a lot of power underneath the engine and are under the hood here. So why don't we go ahead and start a new temporary scratch layer. So we'll open up a polygon here. And there's like so many ways to make this cool, but I don't have enough time to go into all of them to show you how to make a spreadsheet with the, the widths and heights of these trees and plants or what, whatever you're doing and how to like um, correlate them with linked, um, joins so but we're not doing that right now so we'll just we're just going to have a scratch layer and so what we're going to do is we are going to make so we're just in a random field here i just zoomed in here's a crazy legs vineyard and pumpkins temporary clothes cool very cool name but let's just say these guys need are going to plant a bunch of trees here in this field right so i want to you know first i'll go out to the field and uh take gps coordinates from for where we want to plant the trees or whatever the the pipeline is and then so what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, advanced digitizing tools we're going to use the the digitize digitizing shapes uh, toolbar here we're going to use the circles add circle by center point and another point uh, just to make our um, make our trees so we're, let's just make a few trees here these are really awesome trees. They look beautiful, just like trees, right? Uh, so yeah, these are ugly, but let's just say we digitized all these trees from some kind of actual plan. Um, and so what we want to do is make them look a little bit more like trees. So what you can do here is you're going to go into the sim symbology and we are going to, we're going to go ahead and actually and use a gradient first and we're going to use the radial gradient from from the centroid <clears throat> to, to have a bit of um, uh, light effect so if the light is coming down from the top the top of the tree would be lighter than the bottom of the tree very simple so we're going to do that first we are going to use green and we are going to use a darker green here uh, just to symbolize a little bit uh, let's actually make this a little lighter a little bit lighter so that kind of symbolizes the height um, so we apply that and then we have a little bit better better uh, symbology of a tree here but it's not beautiful by any means um, but we really can't use we're not gonna we're not gonna use the wave function here we're gonna go ahead and we are going to go ahead and go to the geometry generator and it carries over that that symbology that we just did into the geometry generator. So that's really nice. Uh, we're still at a polygon. And so what we're gonna do here, really, it's really simple. We're gonna go and find the new wave functions, which are these. You have a square wave, you have a triangular wave, and you have a wave wave, which is a sign-like wave. And then you have each of those also as randomized uh, functions. So what we're gonna do is, I like the wave randomized. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. And um, if you look at the syntax, we need basically a min and a max wavelength and a min and a max ap amplitude. So if you know anything about electricity, then you understand that, or hydraulics. Um, so it's really simple. The wavelength will be how long the wave will be. So the min would be one, let's say, and the max would be like 20. And then the amplitude would be the height, basically. So it'd be, let's say, 1 and then 20 as well. So then we just go ahead and check that out and apply that. And you can see, wow, that is crazy. Um, you can see how quickly you can just create wacky stuff. But we're not trying to just make a totally wackadoodle thing here. We're, so we're going to have to bring that way down. That's way too high of an amplitude. Uh, so we'll try and a wavelength so we'll try one one and five so i'll try that out and then now we're getting more into the tree 
realm. Actually, it's almost, it's still too extreme. And we can keep the wavelength, but we're gonna take the amplitude down a little bit, down to this. So then, then we have a kind of a cool little tree shape here. Um, if you can see that, I can't minimize this anymore. We're ma minimized out, man. So this shows, you know, basically how you can kind of create a cool little tree, kind of randomized tree shape. And I'm sure there's ways to kind of layer upon layer this into a very random type situation. But I just wanted to show this first. And let's say we want to duplicate and create a little bit of more texture. Um, and, you know, within illustration, texture is everything. So we want a little bit more texture on this. So let's say, how do we make this even more textured? Well, we can use a buffer and we can create some layers. So if you do this buffer layer here, you have a buffer, which is really simple. It's just a geometry and a distance, essentially, and other syntax that I don't bother with at the moment. Uh, so what we want to want to do is we're going to go ahead and wrap this up in its own parentheses, and we are going to buffer it. So this would be, um, oh good lord, I can not type apparently. Uh, so we will want to go ahead and give it a, uh, let's say a buffer of one. One is actually maybe too small. Let's try a buffer of 10. So we'll try that out. And then you can see, oh, wow, that really buffered. So you can see how that affects that. And this is above. So we should be able to switch that so it's below, right? So then this is too much. So let's buffer it at five. And you can see how that buffers out the amplitude and wavelength a little bit. So it's kind of interesting how that works out. Um, so if we want that to be not so much of, uh, you know, not so much buffered out, we're going to, we're going to actually want to reverse that and buffer within the geometry. So we would actually do wavelength, uh, ra wave randomized and the geometry inside of here, we'd want to buffer. So then what we're going to do is just buffer the geometry inside. I believe this should, um, this should then keep us. Yeah. So then we have more of a, a matched type of randomized way, you know, edge here. So then we can actually look at uh, we can buffer that out a little bit more to four, let's say, and then, okay. So you can see how this kind of works below that. So we have a few layers. Um, and then what we'd want to do is take that layer as well, make another one, um, another layer that's also buffered out. And we'd want to buffer that out a little bit more even. So then we would have three layers, but, uh, as you can see, it kind of blends into each other. So let's just go ahead and zoom in a bit here. So you can kind of see how it, it has this layered effect and that's all within symbology. So, so that is kind of the basics on how to make these kind of trees. And it, you can see too that when you move, when you zoom in or out, it changes. Cause whenever you use a randomized function, every time you move, every time if, if, you know, you do something in the program, it will change that randomized function. It is random again and then again. So um, hopefully that that helps you out. Also, one thing we can do here with this scratch layer, we can also put on, um, oops. We can also give it some draw effects, basically a drop shadow, let's say. We can go ahead and do that. And we have a little more realism. Not that this is super realistic, but this shows you that you can continue to do that. And you can also do that within the layers too. If you want to have a bit of a drop shadow within the layers and we could do that here as well. So then we go in here, drop shadow within the layers. 
and apply that. So depending on how strong or how powerful your computer is, you could do a thousand of those and have a really cool look there. So hopefully that shows something cool that you might use and and uh, yeah, hopefully that helps you out. Thanks. Thanks for watching.